hello viewers in this video i will show you how you can set up facebook pixel and conversion api using this uh, google tag manager tag template let's say you have downloaded this google tag manager tag template so now i will show you how you can import these tag templates on your gtm web container and server container and set up google ads and google analytics for and facebook pixel conversion api for your shopify store before starting i want to say that uh, if you need any help about conversion tracking for your store then please contact me on whatsapp i will help you to solve your issue and you can hire me uh, on upwork or fiverr i'm a level 2 seller on fiverr and also a top rated seller on upwork this is my clients shopify store and right now i have my client shopify store backend access and also i have my client uh, google tag manager web container and server container access also i have my client uh, step account access now i can set up everything let's see how you can do this first of all we have to install an app from the app section on shopify step server gtm app we have to install this one and add on the website back end then we have to copy this uh, gtm code and then we have to paste this gtm code here and make sure that you have add this tick mark here and we will also add a custom domain and a custom loader later but right now we are adding this one only and now we have to click on data layer and add this two option here like add user data to data layer events and add e-commerce data layer events and click save that's it it will enable the data layer on your website back end and you can see this if you click on the previous uh, section on the gtm web container i will show you later and right now let's import the container from here uh, we will click on import container right now we are going to import the web container so here you can see this is the web gtm template so i am importing this one then if you have if you already have some tags on your google tag manager and you you, you don't want to lose them then you can click merge otherwise you can click uh, override then select the existing and default workspace then click confirm then here you can see we have lots of tags and triggers and also variables already created from my uh, template so now we have to go to variable section and we have to change some uh, variables and then we can preview everything so here you can see I have added uh, which one we should uh, change after importing so here, here you can see we have to change four things from the uh, tag templates one is j uh, 4 id another is facebook pixel id and another is google ads conversion id another is a uh, server side j 4 id so we have to change for these four things then uh, we can preview our website and i think everything will be work for this website so let's see how we can do this right now and first of all i have to change the facebook pixel id so if we click here i have added a uh, dummy pixel id here so you have to put your own pixel id here okay okay so this is our pixel that we will uh, integrate with this website so we have to copy the pixel id i mean the data set id and go back to here and paste the value here then click save so we have changed the pixel id now i can remove this one okay click save and let's change the ssg4 id we can add a random number here like we can change the 928 and we can change this one into like five or six that's it we just need 10 digit here that's it okay now we can remove this change this id from here 
okay save okay now we need google ads conversion id and the real ga4 id i mean the real ga4 measurement id so i will show you uh, how to change the ga4 real id and the google ads conversion id but right now let's see if our uh, if our facebook pixel setup is working or not okay so let's click submit okay now let's preview the gtm web container and also the facebook event manager test events right now our facebook browser site setup will work i think and we haven't set up the uh, server side yet we have to wait uh, let's see if our gtm browser side is working or not let's see so i'm clicking connect and i told you already that we have enabled the data layer on the website backend using this uh, step server gtm app and the data layer option these two options will add the data layer on the website backend so let's see one product let's see this one and we will get view item step here here you can see the view item step and here you can see uh gf event and server side event and also the facebook view item event fired here and if i click on that's all layer here you can see in the event called view item step and everything is uh, showing up properly here and if i go to event manager here you can see the page view event uh, we are receiving from browser side and also the view content event from the browser side and if we set up the server side then we will get the server side event here and also the deduplication here so uh, let's see how to set up the server side event and as we are getting the view content from browser side that's mean we will get all the e other events as well so here you can see all the parameter as well so now we will go to the server container and import the server container tag template from the admin section we have to go to import container then choose container file and import the server gtm template click here click open and click existing and default workspace and then click confirm So uh, after importing here you can see we uh, we have some tags here for Google Ads conversion tracking and Google Ads remarketing and also for Facebook conversion API. So right now I am focusing on only Facebook conversion API ignore those uh, tags right now. So for Facebook conversion API we have to change some variables if we go to variable section and from here we have to change the metapixel ID. So this is our uh, pixel id this is our pixel id i think sorry we have to go to settings and this is our pixel id and we have to add this here okay then we can remove this mm, side note from here and click save okay now we have to change the meta token api so if we go to event manager again and go to settings and scroll down and here you can see the generate access token we need this token so i'm going to generate this token and then copy and paste it copy then paste it here on the box remove the current one first then paste it here and then we can remove this side note from here so after that click save okay now uh, we have to change the google ads conversion id and i will do this later and here you can see we, get, we are seeing uh, one uh, notice here if you click on start set start setup then we have to paste our gtm web container id here so i'm copying this gtm web container id then i'm going to paste it here 
ओके क्लिक सेव सेव देन क्लिक डिसमिस ओके सो इफ वी गो टू टैग्स एंड सी द फेसबुक कन्वर्शन पे टैग्स हेर यू कैन सी फेसबुक कन्वर्शन पे टैग So we already changed the uh, meta token API and meta pixel ID, and now we have to change the test uh, ID. If we go to event manager and click test events, and then here you can see the test ID. Just save this test ID. Okay, and then click save. Okay, now we can click submit. and now we have to set up our server uh, container on the step so let's see how we can do this very easy we will just need two minutes so i'm copying this business name this is our step account and click on create container then add a name of your container here so i am adding my business name here and click server then we need the container configuration id here so this is our server container if i click on ID, this id and then select manually provision tagging server and copy this and go back to step account and paste this here then you can select any of uh, this uh, server location like i am going to select brazil as my client are uh, setting on brazil so then click create container then click continue with pro plan then go back again and here you can see our random step uh, domain is this one so we have to add a custom domain here you can see uh, we highly recommend to add a custom subdomain for the correct performance of first party cookie so I will definitely change this one and verify the custom subdomain but we'll not write this video i will show you on other videos so right now i am using this one i will change this letter so right now i am copying this one and going to paste it here if i go to admin and then we click on container settings here you can see the uh, tagging server url option so if i paste it here and click save and now my server container setup is done and now one important thing is to we have to do is uh, we have to go to the uh, web container again and tag section then we have to find out the server side ga4 configuration tag i mean ss ga4 configuration tag this one ss ga4 configuration tag and if we click here and here you can see as a server container url i have added a, a dummy url here add your subdomain.com here so i will add the random step domain right now to show you everything but i will change this letter okay uh, after that i'm going to click save then i'm going to click submit again then i will show you that everything is working or not with uh, deduplicating okay so this is my server container let's see uh, how the server container is working or not and also we can preview the web container and also the uh, facebook pixel test event so this is our web container so i'm going to preview the web container and show you that my facebook pixel and conversion api setup already completed if we exclude the subdomain setup so let's see if it's working or not so if i view this product we will get the view item or uh, view content event here after the page view and also the deduplication will be happen very soon and if we go to the view item step data layer here you can see a view item and ssb item tag fired and the data layer structure is very nice and if we check the server container 
here you can see page view and this is the view item event here you can see uh, the outgoing HTTPS request from server to the facebook.com and if you go to the event manager here you can see view content and page view and here you can see the parameters everything well formatted and very nice okay so if i click on add to cart here you can see the add to cart step event it's working fine and if i click on the data layer it's very nice and also the view cart step so if i go to event manager here you can see add to cart view cart view content everything is deduplicating properly with all the user parameter here you can see all the user parameters sorry all the product parameters here you can see everything working fine and now uh, we can purchase this product so that we can see the purchase is working or not remove from card is also working but i am not showing this one right now so here you can see the begin checkout step event here you can see also the view card and now i will purchase this product okay let's complete the order and we will get purchase event here as well thank you so i am waiting for the purchase step event here you can see purchase step if we see the data layer and here you can see it's also well formatted with user data email first name last name phone country everything is working fine and if we check the variables here you can see the custom dlb customer email country city and the zip code and also the order id product ID and everything is working fine and if we also see the event manager here you can see the purchase event from browser side and also from server side with the deduplicating and if you see the user data case here you can see country city email address browser id first name ip address everything is well formatted and also if we see this uh, browser event here you can see we are getting all the user parameter and data very well formatted and nice so this is how you can set up facebook pixel and conversion api uh, using my shopify store conversion tracking web and server gtm template and i will show you how you can set up the google analytics 4 and the google ads tracking uh, after this video and i hope you have enjoyed my video and if you really like my video please hit the subscribe button and comments below and i will help you to solve your all kind of issue